skilled labor jobs such as plumbing, electrical work, and carpentry have long been seen as less prestigious than white collar jobs such as engineering and management. However, in Germany, these blue collar jobs can earn more than their white collar counterparts. In this video, we are going to explore why this is the case, discussing the reason behind the high salaries for skilled labor jobs in Germany and some of the easiest blue collar jobs people can get into in Germany. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Asan, I'm a researcher and on this channel, we discuss business and personal finance in Germany. Let's start with the reasons for high salaries for skilled labor jobs in Germany. High demand for skilled labor jobs. One of the main reasons for why skilled labor jobs such as plumbing and electrical work can earn more than white collar jobs in Germany is the shortage of skilled craft persons. Germany has a strong manufacturing industry and many of these jobs require specialized skills such as welding and metalworking. In addition, Germany has a growing construction industry which requires skilled trade persons such as carpenters and bricklayers. The high demand for skilled labor jobs means that those who work in these jobs are able to command higher salaries than those in other professions. For example, a certified electrician in Germany can earn an average salary of 3000 euros per month after taxes, which is higher than the average salary of many white collar jobs. Specialized training and expertise. Another reason why skilled labor jobs earn more than white collar jobs in Germany is due to the vocational education or apprenticeship system in Germany. Let's have a look at the schooling system in Germany. Students in Realschule and Hauptschule graduate when they are about 15 years old and usually finish the vocational or technical training by the age of 18 years. While the training of academics is relatively longer as students need approximately three and a half years to finish their bachelor's degree. As there are too many bachelor's degrees on the market, the employer will usually opt for someone with a master's degree requiring another one and a half years. That means a craft person can finish their training much earlier. When it comes to training allowance, sometimes prospective plumbers earn 1,252 euros a month. The trainees in the public sector also do well with just over 1000 euros per month. Ship mechanical trainees with 1400 euros and real estate clerks around 1100 euros earn a little bit more. In contrast, students of the same age are mostly poor. Even those with the BAFOG maximum rate have to make ends meet with a maximum of 861 euros per month. As most students no longer live with their parents, unlike most trainees, who are usually a couple of years younger. Please hit the like button if you're getting value from this video and consider subscribing. Scientists at Tübingen Institute of Applied Economics Research, IAW, examined the lifetime income of more than 12,000 people born between 1948 and 1986. Over a lifetime, master craftsmen earn almost the same as academics. After that, employed people earn about 1.45 million euros until their 65th birthday. The master craftsman or technician is only 3% lower at 1.41 million euros. If academics retire early at the age of 60 years, the financial benefit of their study will melt away. This is the price of their long education at the university. Because up to their 60th birthday, master craftsmen or technician earn even more than university graduates. When the graduate starts working, the craftsman has already received 30,000 euros to 100,000 euros in wages and already has between three to eight years work experience. Strong unions for skilled labor jobs. Skilled labor jobs in Germany are often unionized, which means that their workers are able to negotiate higher wages and better working conditions. This is particularly true for jobs in the manufacturing and construction industries, which have strong unions. For example, the IG Metal Union which represents workers in the metalworking and electrical industries is one of the largest unions in Germany. Salary is negotiated between the parties to the collective bargaining agreement. This means that wages in the labor sector are roughly keeping up with productivity and the general price level. In professions that are not subject to collective bargaining agreement, everyone has to negotiate their own basic salary, which might not be good for everyone. In other words, craftsmen earn more because wages are continuously adjusted. Easiest blue collar jobs to get into in Germany. Germany needs skilled labor. This year, the shortage of skilled workers in Germany has risen to all time high. 
In 2022, the Institute of Employment Research, IAB, found 1.74 million vacant positions in the country. In July last year, staff shortages affected almost half of all the companies in Germany, forcing them to slow down their operations. These include construction and finishing, metal and electrical, wood and plastic building, cleaning, food trade, health and personal care, clothing, textile and leather trades. So if you are up for working in Germany, you can start by looking up your prospects here. Non-EU citizens can also look into the six months job search visa. Additionally, the German government is looking to introduce point-based immigration system, which I have discussed in this video. So thanks for watching, bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.